Hi, my name is Dave Crossland, and I'm going to demonstrate class kerning in FontForge. So I've made a very simple font. Uh, there's no curves, I'll just knock this up in a couple of minutes. And we can see that we have uh, a nice cap T here, and then some lowercase uh, round, supposedly round characters that we want to kern with the T. So if we bring up a metrics window, we can see here that typing T, you know, T O N T C H T N, we can see that there's uh, the awful kerning here. So if we go to the metrics men when you and kern by classes, we'll create a new kerning horizontal kerning lookup, and then we want the first character to obviously be our cap T, and then we're going to select uh, some of these lowercase characters here. So we're going to have the C, hold down shift and select the E. O. and we can see that the auto kerning has put in some default values here um, so we'll just try those to start so we can see that we've done that that the kerning feature is not yet turned on so if we click that to turn it on we can see that snapping into place and then we can see that if we adjust this value that it's being adjusted uh, for both the TO and the TC. So we can bring that in and set that just as we want it. Now for some reason the TE has not been applied. So let's go back to the kern by classes window and edit that kern. And we can see that the E is, is definitely there. So it's a mystery why TE is uh, not being kerned. Um, let's, let's see here. Um, A C O E. See now there it is being seen. That's rather peculiar. I don't know why that would be. Uh, some strange behavior here where the E is showing up in the grid. And uh, yeah, that third time it doesn't, it's, it's very peculiar, it's not showing that. Hmm. Let's close that window. Open a new metrics window. You can see the kern feature is turned on. And now it's working correctly. So, something of a mystery there.